Well, you can't see it right now, but we are standing on the vision of Illinois Athletic Director Josh Whitman, <laughs> the future home of the Fight the Line Football Performance Center. So, Josh, kind of take us on a virtual tour of what this space is going to look like come the fall of 2019 for that, that season. Absolutely. This has been the home, obviously, of our team to practice for decades. And I remember when I came here as a student athlete, this building didn't exist. There was a parking lot. This grass field extended another 20 yards or so to the north. Uh, what we'll continue to do is, is take a little bit more of this grass practice space. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to see uh, that way we'll, we'll have ample room for the team to, to still be out in the grass uh, practicing. But it'll be a, a tremendous building that actually attaches to the south of the Irwin Indoor Practice Facility. So it'll be, it'll be attached to that building. Uh, and what you can't see from here is that the, the turf that's inside that building is actually about seven feet down. So when you come over here to these stairs, you walk down and then you walk into the turf. And so what we'll have is the building itself will be on three levels. Uh, the main level will be, it'll be built all around the, the weight room. So the weight room will be lower. Uh, it'll be on the field level of the indoor facility. Uh, we'll have wide glass doors so that the athletes can go straight from the weight room to the turf, do a dynamic warm up, do a conditioning, come right back into the weight room. Uh, and then you come up an internal staircase to the level that we're on here, and this will be the first floor of the new football facility. Uh, that'll have about 50 some odd thousand square feet uh, that'll have all of our player spaces, uh, the, the locker room, the sports medicine space, the new team lounge, the equipment room, all the spaces that our players will be using on a day-to-day -day basis will be on this level. And then the next level up, we'll have uh, all the coaches offices, the meeting rooms, the team meeting room, uh, and, and all the film spaces as well. So we're here in the northeast corner uh, of Memorial Stadium. So it's going to look very different as you're describing <laughs> this. And you mentioned when you were playing just a couple years ago. <laughs> uh, more and more. The Irwin indoor facility wasn't there. I mean, so many of the things that our athletes enjoy now, but it's a different day in college football. Why is it so important to upgrade the facilities to this point? We're talking about a 70, $80 million project. It's a significant project, It'd be just shy of $80 million. And as you know, we've got a, a, a great building there. The Irwin Football Center was built in 1985. Wow. Uh, the challenge is it was built for a 1985 <laughs> football program. And so the, the, the needs have evolved over time. We've repurposed that building as many times as we can. Back <laughs> got in 19... all the toothpaste out of the tube. Yeah, <laughs> it's all out. I mean, 1985, the total football staff was probably somewhere around 15 people. And now we have it's about amazing. 50 people that we employ sure. just to coach, support the, the, the football operation. Uh, and then the training needs have changed, the, the way athletes are, are, are combining between uh, strength conditioning and sports medicine. Having those two facilities be adjacent is really important. Uh, as technology has grown, uh, the need to be sure that we have the, the latest and greatest in terms of video, audio uh, is increasingly important as well. So we've gotten all, everything out of that building we can. It's a great space, uh, but it's time for us to, to start fresh and, and come in and do something pretty transformative here on this, on this facility. And it's not only about preparing the current football players, the current student athletes, but this is going to be a, a pretty attractive recruiting tool for prospective uh, you know, high school football players who want to put on that orange and blue, and this may make the difference because you're competing with some other schools who have top-notch facilities, and it's, it's a pretty competitive market right now. And no question, yeah. and I think what, what people may not understand is it's not. I don't. I don't think the athletes today sit down with a checklist and say, well, this school's weight room is better than this school's, and but this school's locker room is better yeah. than this school. I oh. think it's more like table stakes. You know, th this is what you have to do just to get into the game. Mm -hmm. And as long as you have a facility, it's almost a box, I think, that the recruits can check and say, yeah, their, their facilities are good. I can move on and consider coaching staff, uh, the academic but institution. If you don't have it, it but if you don't have it, it. <laughs> you don't get to check that box. You yeah. don't get into the game in the first place. And so uh, that, I think, is, is what we're trying to do here is, is make sure that we're demonstrating to those recruits our institution's commitment to building a successful football program. Uh, and when you combine that, that commitment with the great tradition that we have in football, mm -hmm. with the academic engine that we have at the University of Illinois, I, I think we're showing them that this is a place where they can come and uh, have the opportunity to truly excel, not just athletically, but academically, socially, and be a part of, of turning this program into something special. Won't be a reason why they won't come here because you've got Coach Smith in place, you have his staff, and you're gonna have 
a state-of-the-art facility that's going to be second to none. And you mentioned it's going to stretch all the way out to what, what Gate 15 here at Memorial Stadium? Yeah, I don't know if it'll come quite that far, okay. but certainly somewhere right around where we're standing here, I think, is about how far wow. it will come out. It'll be 107,000 square feet, uh, again, on the two main levels and then the, what we're calling kind of the mezzanine level, the weight room level, which will be... And attached to this facility. And it'll right? attach yeah. here. And one really nice feature that we've worked on, we'll actually have a, an access point on the second floor so the coaches can walk out to a, a viewing platform oh, looking nice. down into the indoor. Uh, which will be a, a really nice, again, I think, recruiting space. We'll have some so outdoor players, are you spaces. Listening? The coach is going to have eyes on you. Like, I want to say eye on the line. He'll have it That's all right. the time. Exactly right. Exactly right. No doubt. Exactly right. Well, I look forward to doing this again when we put the hard hats on. Once <laughs> we can. Absolutely. Going out, we'll take it around. Thanks a lot, Josh. Thanks, man. Appreciate you. We will win. This is how you get it done.